Right, hi folks, so today we're going to be taking a look at this pen knife here. It's a Taylor's Eyewitness pocket knife. This is um, handmade in Sheffield, England for £16, which um, is quite a good value for money, I think. I'll put a link in the description to it down below. Go take a look if you want to. Um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with it, really, for £16. I've had this for a couple of months now. Used it a couple of times. Um, it did come... It did come razor sharp out of the box. So that's really good. Um, so these are like farmer's knives, they're working knives, they're not supposed to be like a collector's piece, so they are not finished to you know such a high standard as like a presentation piece would be, or a collector's knife. But I mean, overall, the fit and finish is pretty good, you know, for a working knife. It's supposed to be a durable, you know, knife for working with. And I should think it would definitely do that. Uh, these knives have been made for, you know, probably a hundred years, this design. Um, and I've got this one here, which is my, which was my grandfather's, which he left me along with another some other pocket knives um, and as you can see this was a Taylor eyewitness as well um, the logo is unfortunately worn off over time but you can kind of see the edge of where the eye was on there but yeah now basically the handles I mean this was a spear point blade on this and this is a lamb's foot so slightly different I couldn't find it in the spear point so I got the lamb's foot instead, but the bolsters are the same size, the scales made out of the same material, composite um, horn, uh, some kind of plastic material. Uh, obviously you can see this one here has been polished up over the years with all the elbow grease. But overall the handles are pretty much identical. Obviously this one's got wear on it, but yeah, pretty much the same. The pin for the scale is in a different place. Uh, apart from that, pretty much the same. The fit and finish is pretty much the same as well, as you can see. There's some slight gaps there on the bolsters and the bolster and the liner which you get on the new one as well <coughs> I would say the uh, well that could be due to where the um, I was going to say the uh, finish on this one seems slightly better but it's probably to do with uh, wear over the years which has just polished it down pretty much And obviously you can see the back spring on this one is very low so over the years obviously from opening and closing that has worn the back spring down there's hard looks like there's hardly any wear actually on the on the uh, tang of the blade itself but yeah the uh, spring has worn over time and that's why there's hardly any to the blade um, quality wise I would say that this one probably was made ever so slightly better if you look at that the bolster is raised over the um, handle whereas on this one the bolster and handle is flush uh, the pinning the finish on the pinning is probably pretty much the same really I mean this one's obviously been worn down over years probably and this one's a little bit rougher but I expect over years that would probably wear down but yeah overall I think it's probably you know for £16 for something that's handmade in the UK I think that's probably pretty good quality I mean 
that's like eight pound an hour so if this took um two hours to produce but i thought it would have took a lot longer than that so i think they're probably pretty good value for money so yeah i'll put a link in the description but yeah nice little pocket knife and obviously it's UK legal because there's no lock on it, which is good. Um, and this doesn't come back directly on your fingers if you're cutting with it, because you do have the uh, like finger trial there, or whatever you want to call it. So that comes back on your fingers first rather than cutting straight into your fingers. This one is a little bit more painful than this one here. This one's smooth on here. Yeah, not a bad little pen knife. For something that's handmade for 16 pounds yeah anyway like i say i'll put a link in the description go take a look at it if you're interested and uh yeah thanks for watching take care everybody make sure you subscribe comment and thumbs up be much appreciated and i'll see you next time bye